So in this class, we will discuss about the first angle and third angle projection in detail. Okay, last class, we discussed some fundamentals about the projection. And till now, we have not started to draw anything. Okay, just wait for uh, one or two classes. You observe the things which I explained to you. And after that, later on, we can definitely draw some sketches. Okay, so uh, we last class, we discussed about the difference between first angle and third angle projection, right? What was the difference? Object is placed in the first quadrant and if you do the projection, it is called as the first angle projection and if the object is in the third quadrant, then we have to follow the third angle projection. Now, let us see how uh, we can sketch something in a first angle projection. So, we have already done If we have a, a xy line like this, If you have an xy line like this, definitely for the first angle projection, we have to draw the front view above the reference line, the xy line and top view has to be represented below the reference line. So if you find it difficult to uh, visualize things, it is fine, you just follow the procedure. Ningle is in the procedures of all the other matra madi. Common sense plus procedure is more than sufficient to learn engineering graphics. Okay, and the procedure no one other friend view is associated with VP, top view is associated with HP. Quadrants maran the answer is a friend view, top view, varakina, locations maran. That's all. Right? Well, no. Now, let's see how we can draw something in the first angle projection. So, you have a, a, a solid like this, a prism like this, a rectangular prism like this. So, the different faces are colored in different uh, colors, painted in different colors, so that is object. So, it has to be in the first quadrant, right. Now, we are going to observe the object from three directions. One is the front direction, second is the top direction and third is the side direction, right. So, this is your vertical plane, right, this is the vertical plane. So, when you look from the front, what you can observe is this blue face, you cannot see the yellow face or you cannot see the green face. We blue face, we are visible in the face of our eyes. That is why we are able to visualize it. That is why So, I am placing myself in the face I am placing myself here. Okay. So, when I look from this side, I can see this face. I am going project this face. How to project? It is very simple. From the points, from different points, Draw lines perpendicular to the plane where you want the projection. Namalka projection e the plane ilana way and the angut in the varakia perpendicular lines varakia. Put the top. You put in the varacha perpendicular line aniklagana. You don't even the perpendicular line poyan either. You put in the poyornum, you put in the poyornum, other language on the meat is a bit again. Ide rectangular face, you put on the creek with image. Ingraman still palabala some shang lake on down on the nikaria. Okay, okay, one note, gradually, 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 we can, you, you can clarify it by yourself or you can clarify with your professors or with friends or even with me also, no issues. Okay, so project J2. So, in the front view, my front view is a rectangle of a particular size, right? Now, keeping this object, you have, go and have a look from the top side. Project J2, Engota. HP like project J. Right? And then yandhi yadu, yandhi perpendicular lines plot J. I have plotted perpendicular lines. Look here. From every point, I have plotted perpendicular lines and I have obtained this green face over here. So, this is my top view. Right? That is the top view. So, whatever might be the size of this particular rectangle that is obtained here. In the top. Whatever is the size of this particular rectangle 
this blue rectangle that is obtained in the front view. Size is the same as the other one. We have to do the size of 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 the size Right? We have to do For example, say, I will give dimension. For a simplicity, I will give some dimensions. Say, the height is 100, the width is some 50, and this depth is some 20. Right? I will give you a rectangle size. This is going to be 50 into 100. Right? This is going to be 50 into 20. What about this? This is going to be 100 into 20. So, when you construct something, we will do like this. What I will do? I will draw a rectangle of what size? 100 into 50. Like this. Take your scale, take your pencil, draw a 100, draw a 50, a rectangular box. This is your front view. Right below that, right below that, look here, right below it. You have another box of size what? 50 into 20. So this is 50 and this is 20. So if you draw these two boxes, this indicates your front view and indicates your top view. Similarly, in the side, you have another view of size 20. And 100. So, technical drawing is the moon. You can see the moon. That's the moon. This is a rectangular prism. That's the side 100. That's the side 20. That's the side 50. That's the side 50. That's the side 50. That's the side 50. the side 50. That's the side 50. That's the side the pen to make the drawings much more easier but when as an engineer when you draw something use the proper tools which means instrument box protractor scale ruler pencil everything rubber everything okay now let's go and discuss about the third angle what happens in the third angle the object is in the third quadrant right that is the ground object is placed in the ground right above the object you have the third quadrant third quadrant is something like this your object is some here, somewhere like this, right? So look here, the object is here. So when you look from the top, you can see this green surface. From the front, you can see this again, the blue surface. From the profile plane, you can see the yellow surface. But when we draw the third angle projection, how will we do that? Top view has to come above the reference line, right? Because when you rotate the HP, it is going to obtain this particular orientation. So, what is the top view? Top view is the number. 20 into 50. So, 20 into 50 the box. Front view is 100 into 50. So, right below this, you have a box of 100 into 50. Right. This is the front view, top view. Third angle projection is the what we did? We just followed the projection principles of that angle. First angle number, first angle projection the principles. Right? What is the procedure? First, you get the projection. What is the projections? This these three are the projections. Second one, you rotate your HP and you plot the corresponding projection. Right? You know, you obtain HP and rotate your this rectangle is not going to be Right? That is simple. You can see the image obtained. And then rotate it. This rectangle is not going to be That is the first angle projection. Third angle projection is the first angle projection. Right? Now, 
എന്ന് നമ്മൾ പറഞ്ഞിരുന്നു സെക്കൻഡും ഫോർത്തും ഇപ്പോഴും നമ്മൾ ഡിസ്കസ് ചെയ്തിട്ടില്ല വട്ട് ഇസ് എ ഡിഫറൻസ് ബിറ്റ്വീൻ സെക്കൻഡ് ആംഗിൾ പ്രൊജക്ഷൻ ആൻഡ് തേർഡ് ആംഗിൾ പ്രൊജക്ഷൻ ഇനി ഐ ആം നോട്ട് റെക്കമെൻഡിങ് യു ടു ഡ്രോ ദിസ് ഓക്കെ ഓർത്ത കൃഷി പ്രൊജക്ഷൻ ഇമ്പോർട്ടൻ്റ് ആണ് പ്രശ്നങ്ങളൊന്നും ഇല്ല നിങ്ങൾക്ക് മനസ്സിലാക്കാൻ പറ്റും പക്ഷെ ഇതിനും കുറച്ചുകൂടെ കുറച്ചുകൂടെ പഠിച്ചിട്ട് വേണം നമുക്ക് ചെയ്യാൻ പ്രൊജക്ഷൻ ലൈൻസ് ഒക്കെ വരയ്ക്കാനൊക്കെ പഠിച്ചിട്ട് വേണം നമുക്ക് ചെയ്യാൻ ബട്ട് ഫോർ ദ ടൈം ബീങ് ജസ്റ്റ് അണ്ടർസ്റ്റാൻഡ് ദ വ്യൂസ് ദ ഫ്രണ്ട് വ്യൂ ദ ടോപ്പ് വ്യൂ ഫസ്റ്റ് ആംഗിൾ സെക്കൻഡ് ആംഗിൾ എക്സെട്ര ഓക്കെ നൗ വെൻ വി ഡിസ്കസ് അബൌട്ട് ദി points or the projection of points we will definitely discuss about the uh, what uh, different quadrants for the time being now let us see how the orthography projection of summation components are being done so these three points are always stands intact they won't change okay so you have a component like this okay i will give the name uh, dimensions this is 50 this is also 50 this is 10 this is 10 so totally it will come as 10 plus 10 20 and so the remaining is going to be 30 right so i will give the height this is 15 15 and again this is 20 right i'll give the breadth as 40 i think this is sufficient right now let's see what is the first angle projection in the first angle so you, you can see in the projection lines passing perpendicular to the vp see that that's the image that you can see so when you look from the front side this surface as well as this surface are visible to you adanu njan annum parannu nammal kaanunnad end that is the most important thing what is visible in front of our eyes so ഇങ്ങനെ ഒരു സ്റ്റെപ്ഡ് ഒബ്ജക്റ്റിനെ നമ്മൾ നോക്കുമ്പോൾ കാണുന്ന എന്താണ് ഈ പറഞ്ഞ ഐറ്റംസ് ആണ് കാണുന്നത് റൈറ്റ് അപ്പൊ നിങ്ങൾ ചോദിക്കും ക്വസ്റ്റ്യൻ മൈറ്റ് ബി ദർ സർ വോട്ട് ഡസ് ദീസ് ലൈൻസ് ഇൻഡിക്കേറ്റ്സ് യു ക്യാൻ സീ ദീസ് അഡ്ജസ്റ്റ് റൈറ്റ് വെൻ യു ലുക്ക് ഫ്രം ഡയറക്ട്ലി പെർപ്പൻഡിക്കുലർ ടു ദ സബ്ജക്ട് യു ക്യാൻ സീ ദീസ് അഡ്ജസ്റ്റ് സോ ദ തിങ്സ് വിച്ച് ആർ വിസിബിൾ ഇൻ ഫ്രണ്ട് ഓഫ് യുവർ ഐസ് ഷുഡ് ബി റെപ്രസെന്റഡ് ഇൻ ഡാർക്കർ ലൈൻസ് സോ ദാറ്റ് സ്റ്റെപ്പ് ഈസ് ദിയർ now based upon this try to imagine how the top view will look like that means from here you try to have a view before mo moving into the animation how it will look like so i can see this portion i can see this portion and i can see this portion right now let's see from every point the projection is going downward see this particular shape has come here this step has come here and this step has come here let's see what about the side view now you can see this portion you can see this portion you can see this portion from all the projections that's the side view so when you draw it how the front view will look like the total size will be 50 into 50 right then from here you have 30 here 10 here 40 so this is also going to be 10 right so from you at a distance of 10 you mark a point there you draw a distance of how much 10 again because that is 20 that is given over here 20 right again you draw a 10 then again you draw a 15 again you draw a 30 right the figure is over use the ruler pencil to get this sketch right now how the top view will look like see you can can you see this small or lighter lines they are called as the projection lines okay that we will discuss don't worry we are only in the initial stage right padichu varunade ullu namakku adu paiya 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 padikka okay pedikanda okay so nokka idinde size endha irikkum topi nokumbam idu 50 irikkum alle this is going to be 50 this is going to be 40 and you can mark all the dimensions so let's say this is also 30 that's all side view on the projection lines idana nammalde actual projection ennu parna sadhana enganeyana oru nammal actually oru engineer ku oru floor nilkunna oralku oru technical drawing provide cheyidale idu pole oru drawing inathu ee parna ella dimensions mark cheyidu supply cheyidu we will supply the drawing with all the necessary dimensions to the job floor so immediately after looking into this particular sketch he can imagine how this is how the object will look like and usually this kind of sketch will also be given into the 
will be included in the drawing sheet. Anyway, this is called as a technical drawing. One more information convey jayi na details allam orla one drawing that is the technical drawing. So, namle idhu varay padi sallam general karingla basic karingla projection sengi na kaanamnu, endu kaanamnu, how to project it, project jayi na engo thana. Okay, apna ipperu nengal orkan ande orlo nam eni kendu kaanam bittu. So, if you face any kind of difficulty while learning this engineering graphics, you take two minutes and you place yourself in that position and you look at the object. What can I see this? What can I see? Then you follow the procedure. Okay, I can see this much things. So, based on the procedure, where should I draw it? That's all. So, if you are willing, if you are ready to uh, solve the problems like that, Definitely, this subject will be very interesting. Okay, so the next class will be uh, about the projection of points. So from next class onwards, we are going to uh, discuss on the projection of points. That's very important. Okay, from next class onwards, we have to start uh, to sketch something. Okay, so uh, I always suggest to draw all these kind of sketches in plain sheets. Uh, try to use a good quality uh, pencil with all the necessary geometrical equipments okay so be ready with all these things we will learn the projection of points and we will draw some sketches and let's learn engineering graphics okay bye see you